Pollard and Kaminsky. Kaminsky already a two-year pro and just 19 years old. 6-0, three knockouts. Collard is exactly what he will tell you he is stylistically. This is a guy who has been an MMA fighter, did have an amateur boxing career, does have a pro career that he feels good about with what he's been in against, including having scored an upset in a recent fight when he stopped a 5-0 prospect in Ray Guajardo. That happened in two rounds. Yeah, all day long. We're gonna keep counting. Yeah, right? Collard is a handful. I'm telling you guys, he's definitely a handful. You know, he throws sneaky punches. He's aggressive. He lets his hands go. He just worried about doing what he wants to do, like he's doing right now. He's gonna test the younger Kaminsky tonight. Good defense, Clay. Good defense, Clay. Take your time, baby. A test is a good thing for a young fighter as long as it's in the right amount. I believe this is the right amount for Kaminsky tonight. He told us in the fighter meeting yesterday, I want to show a new wrinkle. I know I'm kind of known for my power and being aggressive, but I want to show that I can box and go the rounds. Well, he's going to have to box this guy, Clay Collard, tonight early if he's going to have his way down the strip. Collard's so willing to do what you just saw right there. Just step forward, square it up, throw punches, be aggressive. He's trying to counter, baby. Kaminsky needs step, to step play. out and get on his stick. You know, he's allowing yeah, right Collard to get all up in his kitchen already. And you see the redness on his face for the punches he's taking. Just brawling and bruising, working his way to the inside is Collard. Oh, there's already a cut. <laughs> see it on the left side of Kaminsky's face. You can see, look at that left eye of the young David Kaminsky. Now it's so tough to see with Collard just rushing right in, whether or not it was a clash or a punch. Could have been a clash moments ago. But Bernardo will be on top of that. Check with the commission. Time in. It's a great opportunity for the young fighter. He's having some adversity in this first round. And Good shot right there from Kaminsky. He's got to settle himself, regroup, forget about the blood, let your corner do their job, and start trying to take control of this fight. Power just goes straight ahead. Kaminsky creates some space with the combination, and now Kaminsky a little more aggressive after he sees his own blood. There's a right uppercut on the inside from Collar. The problem with Kaminsky is, is that he stands there and he admires his work. He needs to get out or have a form of defense after he punches. He's sitting right directly in front of Collard. And of one, David Kaminsky, unbeaten prospect, dealing with a cut. Keep him up and you're holding, okay? Cut it up. Time. As for that cut in the first round, well, the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Bob Bennett, has the advantage of looking at our replays after a round. And in watching this and seeing that right hand just glance, but you see the wrist and the tape going across the left eye of David Kaminsky. So Bob Bennett ruling that it was a punch that caused the cut on the left eye of the young, unbeaten David Kaminsky. Round number two here, Clay Collar against Kaminsky. I respect fighters like Clay Collar who they're not trying to be anything other than who they are. He said, listen, this is where I come in. I win my fights by willing myself to victory. I'm not the most skillful guy, but you better know that I'm going to be in this fighter's face and that fighter being Kaminsky all night long. And thus far, he, he kept his word. Bernardo, what's the word ringside? I was speaking with Bob Bennett as well as Robert Bird, who's the review official, and they said, look, it's the way he turned his punch. We believe he caught him on the inside part above the knuckle, not the laces. So that's why it was ruled a punch for this cut. And initially, Vic Dracula looked to them, said, I did not see it. And that's why the replay system works here in Nevada. I'm glad they're using it. Stitch Duran has to tend to that cut. He is the assigned cut man for David Kaminsky. There it is, right there, Clay. Right there. I can tell you right now, Kaminsky got rocked with a right hand, 
from Collard. And I can tell you that he did not expect this type of fight from Collard. You know, Collard's one of those guys that you it's hard to get prepared for. How do you find that for a sparring partner? This is guy in collar that likes to stay busy, like ultra busy. He fought eight times in 2019, three times in the month of June alone. And Dre, he's also fought all over the scale. He's been a light heavyweight, a welter, a middleweight, a super middleweight. He came in at 163.6 for this fight. Yeah, he's a fighter. I mean, in every sense of the word, he said, I don't like taking easy fights. My my manager doesn't give me easy fights, and I see why. Like, he's not afraid of Kaminsky. Uh, Kaminsky did get hurt with a straight right hand about a minute ago, and he's going to get hurt again if he doesn't get his head off the line and make the adjustment. Listen, he's not technically the best-looking puncher is Clay Collar in terms of fundamentals and technique. He is a guy who took part in the UFC. Twice he was signed by the UFC. But don't get fooled thinking he's just strictly an MMA kind of guy because when he was coming up, he had an amateur career as a boxer. He had over 100 amateur boxing fights. There's a left hand from Kaminsky. Coming to the end of two. Pollard and David Kaminsky a chance to visit with Mark Freeman. You know, tonight Clay Collard is giving Kaminsky something of an education as a pro. He's just 19. But that education really started at 14 when he began sparring with Mad Max Dadasha passed away last summer, a fight that we, we covered. It forced Kaminsky into some soul searching and some grief, and he decided to change his style and become more of a boxer. I think he's caught in between right now. Collard has landed 49 total punches to Kaminsky's 29. Collard looking for another upset. He's done it before in taking down an unbeaten prospect. You see Kaminsky now finding some comfort with that left hand. See the power punch numbers. His collar has landed 44. Kaminsky's 23. There's a left hand from Kaminsky. And you heard the corner of Collar Dre say, stop charging in. That's what he's comfortable with, though. I was going to say that. That's when he's having his best success is when he lunges in. Kaminsky hasn't made the adjustment, so why should you stop? I know they're thinking about a counter coming back from Kaminsky, but it's yet to come, and he's attacking the young fighter in such a way where he just does not have any answers, just like that right there. Kaminsky landed a little uppercut, but he really doesn't have any consistent answers. It's just really hard to, to time a fighter like Collar. That's what it is. It's really hard to find his rhythm. That's why Kaminsky's having a hard time with him. Well, one area that I believe that Kaminsky needs to work on is the body of Collar. You know, if he goes down to the body, he's going to slow down Kaminsky. Oh, there's a nice right hand to the body from Kaminsky. And then Collar tries to dig with an uppercut. That's exactly where he needs to go. Keep the heads back, guys. Keep the heads back. You might think those shots right there from Collard aren't hard, but they are. They're, get, they're coming in machine gun type, you know, just rapid, just boom, 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 boom. Nothing special about it, but they're landing and they're effective. And then at the end of the punch, Collard is pumping Kaminsky, which takes a lot of energy as well. There was a clash of heads there moments ago as Collard just lunged in and the heads came together. Does not appear that there's a cut near the right eye, and they have go. tended to that cut Time around in. the left eye. Well, Bye. that happened from what was more of a punch in the first round. Left hand to the body from Kaminsky, digging with a right hand to the body as well. More of that here in this round. Coming to the end of three. Good action here, more from Vegas. Quick break. 
Round four scheduled for six. The young prospect David Kaminsky getting a test tonight. Dre, take us through that combination we saw in the last round. These are the kind of shots, and these are the sequences that Collard has been putting together right there. A right hand that was not thrown properly, but he lands a couple of shots. Then he doubles up with a right hand in ugly fashion, but then he lands a swivel jab. Oh, and the last punch was the forehand. So it's just a lot for the young fighter to deal with, but he's better find, he better find some answers and find it quickly. I'll tell you, on that last exchange right there, Timmy, and you called for this in the last round, Kaminsky finished with a sneaky little body shot when Collard got to the inside. Collard actually tried to shake it off. Yeah, that's where Collard's weak, is the body. If you got a guy that can take it up top, you want to dig down to the body, test him downstairs. Collard has been stopped in the past from body shots. Kaminsky's just getting out work, right ladies and gentlemen. That's it. He's dead in right in front. Just getting out work by Collar. Collar's got 230 in. punches. Kaminsky 173, Timmy. <laughs> I've never seen a fighter run with punches like that. How do you train for something like Collar? Wow. Kaminsky's showing a lot of heart. He hasn't backed down. He's not, you know, looking for the fight to be over. He's trying to win. He's just not doing it the right way with this opponent he has. But this is why, as a young up-and-coming fighter, listen to your coach. Work on that jab he's been telling you to work on. Work on your distance and your range. I know people are saying you're a knockout artist and you're the next guy that's going to be knocking people out. Don't believe your own hype because one day you're going to run into a Clay Collard and he doesn't care about your reputation. <laughs> And to, and to add on that, Dre, Kaminsky just pulling straight back. That's the reason why he get hit with the right hand. You know, he needs to get off the line. Kaminsky's coming, darting straight in. Hello, pivot, get off the line. One of the he two of you last night, these things. we had a meeting with Clay Collard last night. One of the two of you asked him about how he sees it, how he views Kaminsky. And I just remember this response. His weakness is he's young, and he hasn't been in a real dog fight yet. That's exactly what Collard has been and he trying was to make right. this. A real fight. And he is, and I believe he's winning the fight right now. He's outlanded him 92 to 58 to this point. Just pure work rate. Sometimes 10 minutes is all it takes. It's how bad you want. Kaminsky digging in with that body punch. Short left hand on the inside. Good stuff. Going to be interesting down the stretch to see which way this goes. First tonight on the bright lights at the MGM Grand Conference Center. As we have been enjoying what we're seeing here, our second fight of the night. Round five scheduled for six with a tough, rugged play collar against David Kaminsky, who's 6-0. Timmy, you said, I haven't ever seen anything like this, the way Clay Collard goes about his offense. I want to show you one clip from the last round. Look at this. Absolutely not. Running in with punches. Nothing land there. But did you see the response from Kaminsky? Kaminsky? He did not get off the line. He went back in the straight line. And that's what I wanted to show you. He needed to take two steps back and pivot off the line. And then make Kaminsky play, make Collar pay. Excuse me. He would have been there for the taking. Get out, Now go back to your game. David Kaminsky's throwing some good combinations. He's mixing things up nicely, but he's doing what Tim said. He's making a major mistake. He's standing right there, and he's posing. He's looking at the work that he just did, and Clay Collard hits him back and takes the play right away from him. And he's dealing with some swelling, too. You know about the left eye, but you can see the mouth of the blood there coming from that area around the nose, and then even swelling around the right eye. Kaminsky's face looks like jab. he's been in a 12-round war. It does. It really does. <laughs> Call that dog meat, baby. <laughs> looks bad. Did you see what Collar did there? He bought himself some time just by, just by posturing right in front of Kaminsky. He was hurt with a body shot, and Kaminsky didn't even know he was hurt. Yeah, the pace is definitely slowed from Collard here in his fifth round. An opportunity for Kaminsky to step to him. And he does so behind that jab and a left hand. 
but this is not the work rate we have seen throughout the night from Pollard. And now a body shot comes from Kaminsky. Good body shot. Good body shot from Collins. It's a headshot between punches that came in from Collar. Kaminsky still scored as well. A tan comes in from Kaminsky. Collar with his hands down. Yeah. They'll have one round to go to decide it. Kaminsky came into this fight at 6-0 as a 19-year-old prospect. He's well-connected. He is with Agus Klamis, the Boxing Writers Association, manager of the year. His parents were born into the old Soviet system, moved from... Ukraine to Israel, where David was born, then to California, he signed with top rank, and here he is in against the rugged Clay Collard, who has put forth upset efforts in the past, and now it's the sixth and final round in a fight that could go either way. Just too much inconsistency from Kaminsky. You know, he's standing right in front, he lands two shots, and then he stops. Total punches has Collar ahead 134 to 88 in connects. And he's thrown 120 more punches than Kaminsky. Let's go. Kaminsky just getting caught, loading up with punches. Just loading up in one spot, looking for a straight left hand. He needs to let his hands go in combination. But that's what happens when you're a power puncher and you just depend on solely on power. You don't work on any other aspect of your game. Kaminsky's tired. Oh, looks like he can get another six if he had to. He's a fighter, Dre. That's all he is. Just a fighter. No special effects. He's just a rough and tough guy that came here and he is testing Kaminsky. Remember, a guy, Dre, who had 100 <laughs> amateur <laughs> boxing bouts, goes to the UFC twice, was signed by the UFC, had a 17-8 mark in MMA, comes to boxing, has six wins, including an upset win against an unbeaten prospect most recently, and now is hoping to hand Kaminsky his first loss here, final half minute. <laughs> A lot of swelling around both Kaminsky eyes now. Kaminsky can bounce of back from Kaminsky. this, Joe. Yeah, Kaminsky can bounce back from this. He, he's got skills, he's got pedigree, but psychologically, he's going to need somebody on his team to walk him through this and unpack what happened to him tonight. He's got blood coming from his mouth. He had a cut around his left eye. He has swelling around his right eye. Look at his face after six rounds. Tired. And he's exhausted. He has a conditioning problem as well. Durant wiping him down. Stitch had to deal with that cut in the first round. All right, guys, let's go through and take a look at what Collar did tonight. Dre, take us through it. Well, I think what we saw in the first round is what we saw all the way through the fight was Clay Collar pressing the issue. 
Nothing special, like Tim said, but very, very effective. That's where the cut happened. It looked kind of like it, the glove grazed him, but just a lot of pressure, just a lot of aggressiveness, a lot of will from Clay Collard. Landing shots, awkward shots, shots that normally a fighter shouldn't land, and that's what threw Kaminsky off. He couldn't process the way Clay Collard brought his offense. He didn't have a plan B. He looked ill-prepared for this fight. Good talent, but he didn't make the necessary adjustments. Mark, your thoughts. Kaminsky landed some good shots, but everything was hard. No combinations, no rhythm. Like Dre and Timmy say, listen, when you're going for the KO, it's not going to come. On the other hand, Collard has a hell of a chin. Clay Collard landed 158 punches. Kaminsky landed 102. Collard threw 481. Kaminsky threw 331. And Collard was able to land 36% of his power punches. Andre's scorecard has Collard 59 to 55. Let's hear how the judges in Vegas have it. For that, we go to Mark Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand Conference Center, after six rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Lisa Giampa has it 58-56 for Collard. Patricia Morse-Jarman has it 58-56, Kaminsky. Dave Moretti has it 58-56 for your winner by split decision. Cassius Clay Collar. Well, the right guy won, and David Kaminsky's face proves it. First loss suffered in the career of the 19-year-old prospect Kaminsky, and for Clay Collard, he has done it again. Hand somebody their first loss. Clay Collard, great work rate, took advantage of the opportunity. We will hear from Clay Collard when we return to Top Rank Boxing on ESPN.